Hey, what's going on? Dr. Ben Atkins here, and today we're gonna to talk about why you must be building a platform for your business and why that platform should include email marketing and building an email list. All right, let's do it. All right, so what is a platform and why should you be building one for your business? Well, I want you to think about life like this. It's 1980, let's say, or 1990, somewhere around there, and you've just released a book. And you went the traditional route, you have a publisher, the book is absolutely amazing, and it gets out there and it hits the New York Times bestseller list, meaning you're selling the crap out of this thing. And yes, things are going good, it's great, and tons of people are buying your book, you're making a little bit of money, and that's nice, and then you're like, oh man, this is awesome, I want to release my next book, but lo and behold, your publisher somehow makes some bad decisions and they go out of business. And so you now have no one else that's a publisher. Now maybe you could go put together a book deal with someone else because your book was a New York Times bestseller, but this is the problem. You're popular now and you still have to depend on someone else to get you out there and to put money behind you. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Well, that wouldn't happen if you had done some work on your own. Let's say in that book, instead of being 1980, 1990, it's 2010, 2020, somewhere in that range, right? Somewhere within those years. And for everybody that picked up your book, you had a place where they could go get more info from you by putting in their email address. And now you've got a platform. Let's say also, maybe perhaps you'd sent them to your Facebook page, you had an Instagram account, and you'd had them like that. Now you have a platform. You have a place that without anybody else interfering, without anybody else getting in your way, you could click a button and send an email out to hundreds of thousands of people that loved your first book, or if you don't have a book, loved whatever you've put out in the past. Let's say that you had a social media platform that you could click a button and post something and let people know. This is the key. Far too many businesses out there right now are in this position. They are so dependent on getting customers by spending money. Now, the first time that you get customers, you gotta spend money on advertising and marketing. That's cool, but that advertising and marketing better not be laid out just to get those customers in the door the first time. It better be set up to where when they come through the door the first time, you've got information, you've got things built up that is a platform, something that you can stand on. So this is the key. When you're putting your hard-earned dollars out to promote whatever you're doing with marketing, with Facebook ads, with newspaper, with radio, whatever it happens to be, make sure somewhere in that mix, it's not just about getting a new customer, it's also about building a platform that you can stand on. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about what you need to be doing and why this is so stinking important. You need to always have an email list. You need to always be getting good email addresses from your folks because there is nothing cheaper and nothing more effective out there numbers wise than having your existing customers come out on a list and you know, sending something out the next time. So every time someone buys something from you, you need to get their email address at the very least because odds are they liked what you put out and if they did when you send an email that you're putting something else out, the next thing, they're gonna be able to jump in on that. So let's talk strategy here real quick because this is super duper important. This is the reason I have a backpack based business is somehow uh, I did this and you know it was one of those things that I look back now and didn't realize what I was doing, didn't realize I was p building a platform on email marketing and social media, but now I'm so glad that I have it and I understand why it works so well. This was my strategy, and this is what your strategy should be. Every time you release a product, you should be getting an email address, and that should go with, of course, you getting paid at least a little bit. So here's what I want you to sort of do. I want you to think about this. What is your release schedule? What is your release schedule and how are, with whatever products you're putting out, with whatever marketing you're doing, because marketing usually comes with a release schedule of products and services, how are you using that release schedule to also put people on an email list or to get them to like a social media page that you happen to have out there? So this is how I do it. Every time I release a product, I either do a little bit of a pre-launch where you know people that are interested can put their email address into a box, or, or every time I put out something, I am making sure that I hit my previous customers up. Now maybe you're sitting there saying, Ben, I'm starting from scratch, I don't have any emails. So this is what you do. Put out a Facebook ad that is talking about this thing that you are about to put up for sale or that you already have for sale. 
point that Facebook ad at that. Now this Facebook ad should be targeted specifically to the audience that you're after. So if you've written a book, for instance, that says, hey, I'm trying to target women that are pregnant right now so that they can get ready for their baby. These are the tips that they need to be following. Then you need to be targeting those folks on Facebook. So those folks, every time they buy your $7 book or your $20 book, whatever that happens, you need to be getting an email address. So this is what comes down the line is, after they purchase that first book, you've now got them on a list. So maybe you build up 100, 200, or maybe it's 100,000, 200,000 people on that email list that bought your first thing. The next time that you put something out, you won't have to go spend as much money on the Facebook part or the radio or the TV or whatever, because now you have that built-in group of people that loved your first thing, bought your first thing, and you can send something out to them. So send out the email to the folks that already bought. And then, hey, they probably liked your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram profiles too, because they loved your stuff. Make sure you go and post there. And so instead of spending that first time, you're now leveraging the platform that you built with with that initial ad spend. So here's the strategy. Get consistent with your releases. When I first started, I was releasing a tiny little mini product, something that you paid three to seven dollars for, and I did it for every two weeks. So every two weeks, I was releasing a new product. You're, got, you're gonna see people like James Patterson out there who's a highly successful author. He's prolific. Every time he releases something, he has another chance of bringing people into his world and really make, they'll fall in love. And then if they fall in love with the thing that you just released and they get on that list, well, they're probably going to look for your other stuff too. But now your next release, you've got a way to contact them. And that is the absolute key to building this platform successfully is always putting stuff out, even if it's a small something and doing it right. Now the shirt, you may realize it's the Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters are one of my favorite bands out there. And the, one of the reasons that they're so great is consistently every few years, they put out an album with at least one amazing hit single on it. A lot of good music, but there's always something that's at least a little bit radio friendly. And every time they do that, they bring in new people and new people. And if you go look at what the Foo Fighters do on social media, if you go look at what the Foo Fighters do on their websites, they're building a list. They're building a customer base. They're also building up those social media profiles and that's powered by their new launches and new release. So they build their platform every time they release a new song. So what's so cool is, you know, maybe every so often the Foo Fighters, James Patterson, me, have something that's a big hit that really breaks through and that really drives things. But the key is, is you're not going to hit it every single time. Not everything that I released is great. Not everything the Foo Fighters released is great. Not everything that James Patterson put out is great. Now maybe it's all great, but it's not the thing that connects with a huge audience. But if you're consistent, you're going to hit eventually. And that's the reason that I always tell people, focus hard on being consistent with your releases. Now. What is all this about? Let's review. First things first, you need to set up a way to get people's email addresses, whether it's them buying from you or they put in their email address to get something for free. You need to have at least a Facebook and an Instagram profile where people can come get a different look at your life. And every time that you put out a new product, every time you release a new service or a product into the world, you need to be leveraging that. That's news, that's something that is an excuse to get excited about, to run ads to, to be on the radio, to be on TV, every time you release one of these things, make sure you give people a way to get to your Facebook, get to your Instagram, and to get on your email list. And that's how this starts to stack over time. And that's how zero people on your list, your email list that you can contact anytime you've got a product, that's how it slowly grows with a little bit of spend every time, slowly grows into something that is hundreds of thousands of people that you can rock out. So new fans gonna come in with everything you drop, give them a place to go hang out where they can instantly hear from you and you are not depending on that publisher like we had in our New York Times bestseller example. All right, so I hope you love this. If you did, do me a favor, click the subscribe button and always hit that little notification bell. Uh, that's a big deal because that's gonna let you know every time we release something. Also, got a comment? Post it below. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear about your platform. What's your website? What are your links? Post them below. I'd love to go check them out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I've got tons of good stuff coming your way that's going to continue on this concept and even more cool online marketing stuff. I will see you on the next video.